Stop seeing them, yes or no? Answer honestly. I'm gonna put the blinds up because the fucking. Sun. Ow! Oh, I pinched my finger. Ah, oh, Jesus! Oh, it hurts. Oh, that actually really hurts. Oh, I gotta breathe. Oh. Fuck, I pinched my fucking finger there. Yeah, I'm good. I think I'm good. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, do you delete news of girls when you stop seeing them? What the chat say? Yes, yes, yes. I see girls. Don't get nudes. Yes, yes. Um... Yes, yes, yes. Anyone who says no is a freak. Okay, question. Um, if you stop seeing them, how long does it take for you to start to delete the nudes? Like a month, two? I think there's like a grace period. If you like instantly, immediately, right away. Damn, you guys are powerful. My chat is a powerful. Next time I think about them, okay, that's smart. Immediately. Within the day, hatred, two weeks. I think there's a certain grace period where it's okay to keep them for a little bit. Was she hurt me while I went to see her? Well, some people like hate fap, don't they? That's a thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> Interacting with women, girls. Okay, hold on. What if it's a boy, chat? Okay, replace girl with boy. Come on. If you're a gay G, you count, okay? All of you to assume, assume chat gets nudes. I don't know, man. There's a lot of people who are chronically online that talk to little fucking e-kittens and e-girls. Hate fapping is beta behavior? No, I totally agree. I think that, like, hate fapping is cringe, but, I mean, some people do it. Yeah. No judgment, I'm just saying. A little judgment. <laughs> Is it though? Um, yeah, because it means that you're not over her. Go fact to some hot, like, porn model or something. I don't fucking know. Go. Go look at some free porn. What if they die? Do you delete them then? Ooh, that's a philosophical question right there. Chat, what if you loved her a lot and she died? That's really sad, but I can understand that. Damn, that's a... I can't even put myself in those shoes. If I was a boy and my girlfriend died and I was really sad and I miss her. I don't know. Because the on the other hand, she's dead. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry I'm being so bl uh, blunt. But like on, on the other hand, like, like, okay, I'm with someone. I died. My ghost is looking at them, and they still have my nudes in in their photo gallery. Hmm. I wouldn't be mad. If I was a ghost, I would not be mad. Genuinely, I don't think so. Yeah, like a wife or a girlfriend that was like, you really serious with her or something? Yeah, I don't know. If he deletes them, I would be like... Okay, that kind of stings, but at the same time, I understand. Does that make sense? This is assuming, like, you know, I'm a ghost and, like, I can understand this. Yeah, it's sad but fair, but also keeping them, I guess, is like, I don't know. I'd rather keep non-sexual pictures. Oh, no, I completely understand that. I'm talking about, like, news. This is like a, you know, like a conundrum. You wouldn't fap to it, but keep it as a memento? Aww, that's so sad in a weird way. What if you keep them for use in case you have a random dream to get whatever feelings you had about them in your dream out of your system? 
See, that's fair. Asking the real questions, chat. The question is, if you get a new partner, would you want to keep the news of the late partner? No, see, if I was a ghost, again, I'm like assuming this is like me, like, you know, ghostly Lana, you know, hovering over someone and I'm like, you're with someone else after I died. I wouldn't want you to keep nudes of me when you're with another woman. See, that's like bad, I think. Yeah, I think that would make her upset, and I, that would make me upset. Yeah, it's disrespectful. You're allowed to be a grieving widow and, like, get with someone else and say, like... You know, I used to love her a lot, you know? And the woman in the relationship should be able to understand that... See, that's so difficult, though. Like, I don't know. If, if your wife died... For example, and then... You get with someone else after. Not too soon, obviously, because that would be really weird, in my opinion. Um, it's such an awkward position, man. If I got married and my wife died, I'd probably never get remarried. I mean, you never know. Wait, serious question. If you're a sentient ghost, would you be okay with your SO dating someone else? I feel like it depends on the situation. If it's been, like, I don't know, years or months, I... Like, okay, hold on. Do you know how if you cook a steak, you have to leave it alone for the equal amount of time that you've been, like, cooking the steak? I think that kind of the same rule applies for, like... If you've been with a girl for, like, 20 years, I think there's, like, a cooldown period where, like, you probably shouldn't get with someone for a while. Like, if it's, like, within months and you were, like, together for, like, 10, 15 years, it's, like... <laughs> Women are steaks. No! It's, like, it's, like, for the better, you know? Yeah, you gotta let the meat rest. <laughs> I don't know, man. Ugh. Cool down, I need the bust the nut. Oh, shut up. You know what I meant! Yeah, you're supposed to let the steak rest before you're cutting into it, because otherwise the juices all get out, right? Like, that's the whole point. Um, if you're in a relationship with someone for, like, 15 years, I, I think it, it depends on the situation. You can't just, like... Like, if I was a ghost, I'd be mad. I'd be like, what the fuck? You're, like, with them after, like, three days? What the fuck is wrong with you? That means, like, you have a problem. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Widow. I know your wife of 20 years died recently, but consider this. When you cook a steak and it's all hot and stuff, you can't just cut into it immediately. You gotta... Bro, my analogy is perfect! Suck my nuts! My analogy is amazing! <laughs> you guys are coping. What I'm trying to put the analogy to, the metaphor, is that you have to have a cooldown period for grieving. If you're jumping straight into a relationship like that, there's a problem. Like, you, you need to, like, take a minute and that relationship is gonna be fucked. You don't understand, Alana? I need to get with that stripper named Destiny after my wife died. I think you could, but that's, um... That's a problem. What about grief sex? Oh, um, we watched a documentary on, uh, prostitutes, legal prostitutes in a town in Vegas. And they said they sometimes have sex with widows because they... Need to, like, therapeutically make them feel better about having sex with a woman after their- uh, after they- after they widow. Cause, like, there's, like, a psychological barrier if, like, they passed. And... Them having sex and feeling bad, they might, like, start crying or something. You don't wanna- you don't wanna do that to someone and, like, a prostitute, I guess, would understand. Yeah. Mama waited like a year and a half after my dad passed. It depends on how you grieve, honestly. Oh, my my aunt, um, her her first husband died of uh, cancer, and I think it took her like two three years, and it was also a big factor because she couldn't support two kids, um, 
Yeah, she couldn't support um, a kid by herself. Yeah, and then she had a child with the new dad. Fun fact! My two cousins didn't know they were like half cousins because so my aunt raised them up until like age eight or nine because they were so born so close together. They thought they were like, they thought they were uh, not half cousins or half brother and sister. Sorry, I'm confusing my words. Yeah. So prostitution is okay? It depends. This is my service prostitute, similar to a PTSD service animal. Very nice. Look, if it helps you, like, whatever. I don't know. They also check those prostitutes for diseases all the time and, like... Yeah, I don't know. Mm -mm. This is my moral support hooker <laughs> chat. We are so off the deep end. Well done. Let me read this, though. I personally have only gotten this from official girlfriends during the talking stages. It always felt awkward to me. And I would, I'd rather just go there and be intimate in person. Don't let out guys even still do this after high school. I'm 28. I don't have any nudes of my exes anymore. They were deleted a while ago. It just felt weird, and it was probably the right thing to do. Do you delete nudes or do you keep them as a collection? Do you go back to them later or ever? The one girlfriend that sent me nudes, I deleted them immediately before breaking up with her. It was actually part of my method to show her I was completely done with her and wanted nothing to remind me of her because subtlety had proven at that point to be completely lost on her. That's a very mature thing to do. I'm surprised. Surprised the kind of maturity is on Reddit. <laughs> Alana is my moral support, Vithor. <laughs> <laughs> That's powerful, man. Deleting news out of st spite? Yeah, some people do that. I think that's a valid, valid response to grieving or, like, getting upset. Therapy tuber. <laughs> uh, I'm a support animal. Put, put a fucking hat on me. Moral support tuber. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Can't say, can't say I've ever had that thought. Can't say I've ever had that thought. No. Alana's my moral support, Fox. Aww. Don't delete my 12 inch dong pic. Flaccid, obviously. All right, that's enough chat for today. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, yeah. Fire, fire, fire.